Peter, as the British ambassador to Syria in 2003 to 2006, can you tell us what's really going on on the ground today in Syria, as opposed to us having to see it through a mainstream media prism? Well, the mainstream media present it in very simplistic terms when it's a very complex uh, situation. It's all about the tyrant uh, uh, Assad, the butcher Assad is, is, is killing his people. This is the preferred uh, phrase. And that is it. it that is Syria in the view of the most of the mainstream media. What is really happening in Syria is that you have a secular government, one that does not want Syria to uh, become subject to Sharia law, like uh, the, its neighbours in the Gulf, which does not want Islamist rule, which wants uh, tolerance for minorities, for Christians, Druze, Shia, Alawites, um, which stands for toleration, is resisting against the many, many groups of armed militants, uh, virtually all Islamist militants, who are heavily funded, backed and supported from outside. Now, who are they heavily funded and backed, supported by? Until fairly recently, the uh, United States and Saudi Arabia were the biggest uh, funders. In the last couple of years, that's changed, and now the biggest funders are Qatar and uh, Turkey. And Britain, of course, even today, is continuing, uh, apparently, to fund uh, armed groups. We discovered this in the answer to a parliamentary question, but the government refused to say which armed groups. Right. Why? Uh, they say because this would help Assad, he might target these groups, as though he, was, he didn't know, as though he didn't know already, as though he wasn't already targeting all armed groups fighting against him. No, the real reason is that the government know they might be embarrassed if it came out that they'd been funding head choppers. Mm -hmm.